everybody coming to you from the flower shop with a problem I had to solve. So I got an order for the pink fantasy garden. I love this arrangement, but I don't have any of the bundles in stock and any painted metallic product from my wholesalers either. So I just had to make some. Um, and I just thought it would be helpful for you guys if you are trying to DIY it, that you know a good process for it that works every single time. So for instance, this thistle, I have sprayed it first with a metallic. So I like to do a silver or a gold because if you just take one of your tints or your sprays, you're really gonna use more product than you need to just covering up the color of the natural material. So what I do is I take my super silver design master, I flip it over, I do this outside, and I just take it on the underside like this, twirling it in my hands, and then I flip it up, doing the sides, and then the top, it's really fast. Usually I'm doing more than one of these at a time, so if I'm doing multiple colors, on one you know, application, on one stem, I will just let one dry, move to the next. So I just make it a little assembly line. So I had two to do, and by the time I got back to my first one, um, I was able to you know, spray it and it didn't get too runny or too wet at one time. So I wasn't really sure which color was gonna look the best, but honestly, um, they both kind of looked similar. I have the Tintant Peak Alicious and also the Just for Flowers Bougainvillea. And I think we made the perfect Barbie pink here, but that is not the last thing I like to do. You would be perfectly fine putting this in as is, but I have a special thing that I like to do when I'm creating metallic product, and that is, I use, I'm pretty sure what they sell this for, this mica powder is actually for people who make their own like eyeshadows and makeup, but it's totally safe for your flowers. So I will use this to paint this on to my stem. So I want a little bit of a pinky purple. So I'm just gonna mix a little bit of this peach pink into my little lid here. And it really doesn't take much. So just knock some of that back in there. And then I'll add a little bit of my purple. And it is helpful. It's not a very long process, but if you have to do this, um, I recommend, you know, batching it and making several at a time because it's a lot easier if you know you have to make a couple of these in a week. I'll just go ahead and do them all at one time. Okay, got that mixed together and got a color I'm happy with. So for this thistle that's already painted, let's see, get it up to the camera so you can see it. I'm just gonna lightly brush it on not being too precious about it. And it just gives it that extra bit of metallic sheen. So I don't know if you can see the difference between the two on camera, but it makes it look much more professional quality, in my opinion, than just the spray paint itself. And it stays on really well. So I don't take too long with it, just doing a light brush up. Okay. Let's see, some of these have a little bit of a bigger head, so it might be easier for you to see. So this is before we start. And also, I do think that starting out with a little bit of that metallic silver as your base, helps you to get some of that sheen to come through. So I'm just gonna brush this on. You can see it really makes it pop. Okay, so that is if I'm doing a painted flower. What I'm gonna do for this, this is a Cherry O Rose, and I'm not going to be using any of the tinted. 
This is like the easiest thing on the planet. So if you ever need to make the metallic roses, you don't really even need to get out um, your tinted for the most part. You can usually just get this look with just the mica powder. So I'm taking some mum tight because I know that it is safe on the flowers, but it also has an adhesive quality. And I'll just spray it right onto the tip of it. And then I tap it down, swirling it around in my mica powder. I'll brush any excess kind of down into it, which kind of knocks off any loose clumps, but helps spread it out. And there you can see it. Super easy and you don't even have to go outside. I hope this helps and happy designing.